Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Bermondsey in South London today, and I'm walking along a road called Surrey Canal Road. Believe it or not, this was once the Grand Surrey Canal. And in today's video, we're not going to explore that canal. We're going to explore another old canal. So before all the railways and everything, canals were the prime mover, and the River Thames, of course, were the prime mover of goods. But then the railways came along, Look, there's a, a train just going over the bridge. A, um, a class 171 a diesel unit, that's probably going down to, down to Uckfield. This was once a canal, that railway bridge wouldn't have been there. And then, as the railways came about, the canal's use, well they came obsolete basically. So what we're going to do, just under this viaduct, was the old Croydon Canal. And that's what we're going to explore in today's video. Now the Croydon Canal, was authorised in 1801. It opened in 1809 and it closed by 1836. So the idea was to bring goods to and from Croydon. Quite a hilly route up and over some hills, as we'll find out. Now, bearing in mind it's been closed such a long time, the plan is, what can we find today? Now, I that we're not doing the Surrey Canal, but I have just noticed here, that there looks like um, bollard for tying boats to. And I suspect the towpath would have been about here, about where this bridge is. Let's go under the bridge, because I want to show you the junction. So we'll be at the very start of the old Croydon Canal. And it's gonna be interesting to see what we can see, because considering it's been closed so long and the railway has um, been built over most of it, there are still some signs that there was once a canal. So that's Mercury Way there. So we've got a bit of a, a little traffic jam. That would have been boats one having that same problem. Boats would have Obviously they wouldn't come under the bridge because the bridge wouldn't have been there, but they'd have been turning off down there towards Croydon with a long lot flight ahead. Let's go down there and see what we can find of the old Croydon Canal. We've arrived at Honor Oak Park on the Brighton line. Looking down towards Brighton, there goes a London Overground train. It's just starting to rain, that's a bit annoying. Anyway, what I wanted to show you here was this is the railway, which is effectively built on the canal. Now the canal did take a bit of a, not such a straight route as the railway, so the railway follows roughly the same route, but you may just be able to see it's very slowly, it is going uphill and um, to a summit. So there would have been locks all along here. As I said, I'm not sure the exact location of where the canal was. This part of the canal is very difficult to trace, but as we go further up towards Forest Hill, we shall start to find more clues that there was once a canal here. So we're now in a residential area of Forest Hill. I understand the canal ran approximately where this road is, very close to Forest Hill Railway Station. Now, across the road, there's a couple of clues to the canal. So you look along here, I understand this path up here, this was the towpath, so I'm probably right now stood, I'll be stood in the water, there'll be water up to about here. Now the clue so far, it's not a relic from the canal, but a clue to show you there was a canal is in this, this mural where it's carved into the brick wall. It mentions Horniman's Tea, the Horniman Museum is just up the hill. And here you can see there's a barge carved in the brick wall, so that clearly shows you know, there was a canal here once. Forest Hill Railway Station is just across the road. And then a couple of other things, got the wheels here of a steam locomotive carved in the canal in the wall and um, a tram, double decker tram. Unfortunately there's no trams here and there's a squirrel, pretty plenty squirrels in the woods, no trams here anymore. Interestingly as we come to here, I might be completely wrong, but those cobbles they look a bit like you know a canal side path. Maybe there was a bridge here once. I don't know. I'm gonna continue on past Forest Hill Station. There's a path that goes along beside the railway. We're gonna go over a bridge and we're gonna go and find some water. So I've now just been walking along this path down here beside the railway line. Come to this footbridge, this will take us over the railway line and to the place we're next going to. It's called Dacres Wood Nature Reserve. It's only open once a month. It must be those where those trees are there. So I've waited quite a while to do this video because it's an idea I've had for a while. The last couple of times I nearly did it, something else cropped up. So here I am today finally making this video. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our way down here through another residential area. 
and then that's where we'll find what I said will be the first bit today where we actually see some water in the old canal part of the old canal the canal itself wasn't overly a commercial success it would have taken coal down to Croydon all of this area would have been a lot more rural than it is today so it could have taken timber up to the Thames towards London so there was some trade on it there was also the Surrey Iron Railway which I understand it connected up with that's a very old sort of um well one of, you know it's a video for another day really a very old railway probably pre-steam so that's something we'll do another time I'm just passing church here by the look of it so up here should be Dacres Wood Nature Reserve I've just arrived at Dacres Wood Nature Reserve the whole reason I wanted to come here today to do this video and at Dacres Wood Nature Reserve is the thing I most wanted to see here we have a section of the Croydon Canal still with water in it okay we're not going to see any boats today but this is the Croydon Canal it's still got water in this is a very very old section of canal it's been closed for you know well over 150 years and here it is with water in this very quiet area of London to give you an idea we are in a very much a residential area houses all around and then you've got this really nice nature reserve the railway line is just over there so this is sort of a kink of the canal it, it sort of crisscrossed the railway line there's a bridge up there what we'll do we'll walk along we're on a boardwalk at the moment I was warned the site can be quite slippery in places so we're just going to walk along this short section of the canal and see what we can see and then what I'll do I'll continue my walk well, I'll probably get the train for the next leg so let's follow down here it's very pleasant you can hear a few people are enjoying the site so you've got more woodland over that part of the site and then as I mentioned this part of the site has the Croydon Canal so we can follow these boardwalks you can hear a train even if you can't see it so the Croydon Canal is never far away from the railway the railway that basically got built on the canal's track bed so we'll walk along here it's quite a nice bridge there taking us across the canal I'm really pleased I've always wanted to do this I'm glad to finally be here I always thought it was pointless me making the video if I couldn't come to this nature reserve look at that it's just such a nice calm and quiet bit of South London and then looking that way continues down to where this section of canal ends so I don't think we're ever going to see a boat come down here again but at least the canal you know exists in some form so just follow this little bit here of the canal and then what we'll do we'll go round around the end there's a few ducks over there so you've got the woodland area here so we'll have a might have a wander up there I don't think there's that much to, to see but it's, it's all really you know nice to explore see a couple of ducks so the ducks are still enjoying the Croydon Canal I don't know if they're aware of the historical significance of the section of water there sat on but and then they're there and then here we come to the end so this was only a short bit of Croydon Canal there is another short section that we will go and explore let's just have a quick look up in the woods I don't know if there's gonna to be too much of interest to today's video but just to give you an idea if you Think of, thinking of coming up to London and would like to visit this nature reserve it's worth doing it's free to visit so you know I recommend it and it's very nice and, and pleasant so it's quite a nice it's not a sort of place you're going to spend all day but somewhere to go for an afternoon I think it's a really really nice little place we'll walk along here and then we'll go you can hear a train going past again I don't know how good the site is for watching trains oh, look, if we have to go back down there that will take us back down to the canal again. Um, let's just try and get over towards the railway. I don't think we're going to see any trains. It's really, really like it though. It's just there's something nice about walking through woods, especially in the autumn. It is. Well, this is their October open day, which we've come to today. I have, like I have said, I've been meaning to do this for a long time, and they've always clashed when I've been doing something else. You can't really see the railway, but the railway is there, and I'm going to have to walk in that direction to Sydenham station when I get to Sydenham I'm going to catch a train to um now was it Annerley or Penge I can't remember which one I'll have to have a look see where I've planned to go to that's where there's a park and there's a bit more of the Croydon Canal up there and then we'll continue onwards and we'll find the end of the Croydon Canal and see what's on the site today so we're just coming back now we've kind of circumnavigated the site to where we started and we're back down 
by the Croydon Canal. So that uh, brings me to the end of my visit here. Time to go and catch a train and let's go and find more of the Croydon Canal. So here we are at Annerley. I've just travelled on this London Overground Class 378. That's departing for West Croydon. We'll get on to West Croydon later in the video because West Croydon Station has quite a big significance to do with the Croydon Canal. The reason we're leaving the train here at Annerley and it's just starting to rain is because this is where there's another section of the Croydon Canal. It's one of those few um, London Overground stations that doesn't have ticket barriers. Now I've got a daily travel card so I'm just going to walk out. I don't have to touch in or out. They were going to withdraw the travel card. I breathed a sigh of relief this week when I heard that they are no longer withdrawing the travel card because for doing little things like this it would just really really complicate things and make the cost of you know making these videos would just become ridiculous. Anyway the travel cards are staying so thank god for that. Let's go up there and find a cordon canal. So I've just walked down a little way from the railway station at Annerley. I believe, I haven't seen this before, I believe I'm about to find a section of Croydon Canal. One of these railings here. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, there it is. That is your other section of the Croydon Canal. So what we're going to do, we'll go down there and have a look. There's, oh, there's a good map here, look. So this map gives you an idea of how the canal crisscrossed the railway. So the nature reserve, well that wasn't on this map, that was further up. So it's come across over to that side of the railway, crossed about where the station was, about where we exited the station, along down there, and then it would have continued on down towards Croydon. So you can see, certainly around Norwood Junction, that section of the old railway is very much on the alignment of the old canal. So we'll go down now into Annerley Park and have the pleasure of walking beside the Croydon Canal to think it closed all those years ago and we're gonna now go and walk beside it. Once again it's um well I've after visiting the nature reserve I realized that it was once the garden of a Victorian house what we saw back there so that's why and it kind of became a pond. This is basically an almost like an ornamental pond in a corner of the park. I think it's encased in concrete in the 1930s they did that to preserve it. So even back in the 1930s they wanted to preserve the Croydon Canal. So here we are. We are down on the canal side. No boats or anything. It, so really it's just a long linear pond. But I do find something fascinating about old canals and what's left of them. I think the last time I did a video of this kind of nature looking at an old canal, although that canal does have boats on it or part of it is the old Basingstoke canal. We went to Odium Castle and we walked up to the tunnel. That was really quite fascinating. I don't think there were any tunnels on this canal. Obviously there were the lock flights but I think it was all above ground. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk on down there and then I'm going to go back to the station, catch a train and we'll see what else we can find. I don't know if we're going to find anything as exciting as this but we, we will go to the end of where the Croydon Canal used to finish. So I've nearly come to the end of this little section of the Croydon Canal. I think what we shall see is, yeah, it, look, it ends here. I thought it was important we did go to the end. You can hear the railway line, again, isn't very far away. So here we are at the end of this little section in Betts Park of the Croydon Canal. So you can see it's not long at all. We were just up there a moment ago. It's great, it's still here. I always want to get like a, a model barge and float it up and down. Um, you know, that's my sort of miniature railway mind coming in. So we've come to the end of this section. You can see quite clearly the canal. There's a bit of a, this is where it's like an old railway line. There's what I'd call, um, well, a bit of a cutting, I suppose. So bearing in mind, I'm now walking the water up to about here, probably because we're walking in a cutting on the old canal. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet. If I'm going to go back to the station and catch a train to Norwood Junction, or do I walk there? I don't think there's going to be a great deal else to see. But from that useful map that we saw, we can clearly see now where the canal would have been. Well, where the canal used to go. The railway line is there. There is a couple of reservoirs, South Norwood Reservoir. I don't think I'll go up there today, but that's a lake 
Sir Lake, which you can go and see, that would have supplied water for the canal. So the canal went in that direction, across the railway, and then down towards Croydon, the destination the canal was built for. We're not too far from Croydon now, we're just in a housing estate. Over there, that's Selhurst Depot, which maintains most of the Southern Trains fleet, so to give you an idea of where we are. And in the distance, I can just see a couple of skyscrapers just there of Croydon Town Centre. When the canal arrived in Croydon, the church bells were rang to celebrate this new mode of transport coming to Croydon. And it probably really was quite a revolution that people now had a means of transport up to the Thames and up to London. But now, looking at this, this housing estate, you think, well, really, what has this got to do with the canal? Well, this, believe it or not, is the root of the canal. And there is a clue to that. This road is called Tow Pathway. So if you had no idea about the canal, if I came along here the first time I saw that, I think that's interesting. I wonder if there was a canal here once. And just to be very sure that, you know, it's not just a fancy road name, we're at a roundabout here, you see? There's a road going off there. We get to here, and here also confirms it. We've got tow pathway and canal walk. So that road, it's canal walk. That follows where the canal used to go. So this is the best bit of evidence in, on this estate that this was once a canal. The canal would have gone off across what is now a huge railway junction area. I'm probably gonna walk back to Norfolk Junction, and then I'm gonna catch a train to West Croydon, and um, that will be the end of our adventure along the old Croydon Canal today. So I've just arrived on the London Overground train at West Croydon. And believe it or not, this railway station, that's the bay platform where the London Overground train is. And this is the through line, that way it looks towards Epsom. You've also got the tram line just the other side of the wall over there. Believe it or not, this is the end of the Croydon Canal, or should I say where the Croydon Canal once ended. This used to be Croydon Basin here, what is now West Croydon Station. Seems rather hard to believe but if you look around sort of think about it, it is a bit of a low lying area so probably where I'm stood now would have been right in the middle of the basin and I'd have had boats floating about where my coffee cup is would have been floating past my face it does feel rather strange anyway so we've come to the end of the Croydon Canal it's been quite a pleasant walk and train journeys in between and we've seen the two sections that still have water on as I said if you want to do this walk the best park section you can do any time the nature reserve section you have to come on the last Sunday sorry last Saturday afternoon of the month that's when that's open. anyway that brings us to the end of today's video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from West Croydon station which used to be the end of the canal goodbye Dunstan Junction, Canbury and Hyperion Islington.